my second monthly update vlog. I am so sorry that this is super late. It's already mid-November, I know, um, but I just kind of forgot to do a monthly update at the end of October like I planned to do. And to be honest, October wasn't the most eventful uh, month, but I'm going to tell you kind of what happened anyway. So, I didn't go to many places in October that I can tell you about, like many exciting places. Um, I did some things, of course. I mean, I'm not lazy all day, every day. <laughs> I'm going to start off with a sort of bad news that I think is shareable for the main public. Um, so, in I think the beginning of October, or somewhere in October, I got a call from YFU that there might be a family interested in taking me into their house. And I was really exciting. But they didn't seem the most motivated because they were not reachable via email or phone. So I was kind of worried, like, oh, are they, are they kind of like, are they into the idea of taking me in their, to their home? And more than a week after or something, I got the message from YFU that they didn't want to continue. Um, so I was kind of actually relieved because I didn't feel like they were really motivated to take me into their home and that they were really, yeah. I mean, if I go for something, I try to go for something really bad, but they were like, yeah, maybe, I mean, sort of. Um, but I mean, that's totally fine. I'm very optimistic about it, and I was like, okay, good, I can move on. Um, these people, obviously, they have other things to do, and if they don't want to take me into their house, that's totally fine. I mean, I totally get it. That was a little like, I got my hopes up and then back down again. By the way, I'm still now in with my arrival host family and I'm so glad that they didn't kick me out after eight weeks like they like I was supposed to be here for eight weeks um, but I am here for three months more than three months already so thank you for that because you hear some bad stories now we're good and then um, more at the end of October there was Hustlof, um so the autumn holiday which was fun because I got to go to Stockholm um, for like the fourth time, but now I, there was the YFU trip. I made a, a very long vlog. I couldn't cut all the footage emotionally to make it a shorter vlog. So it is 20 minutes, almost. Yeah. But I love it, and I mean, it's, it's good memories for myself as well, so. If you want to see it, if you haven't seen it, it's right here. Um, you can just click on it and then it brings you to my Stockholm vlog. And that was just amazing, I loved it so much, I love exchange students so much, it was... Ugh, I loved it. And then the last day of October, which was Halloween. Ooh, spooky. I actually did some things. Um, the first thing I did on the 31st of October was I went to a march for the refugees in Sweden um, to welcome them. There was an organization called um, that was that organized this march and almost like 300 people turned up so that was cool you can sort of see a picture here oh and I came in the newspaper with this um, uh, yeah that was cool like this side of my face I was like probably because I mean that's like my son face when I can't see shit I'm like yeah um, so I, I, with like the side of my face, I was in the front page of the newspaper of Eskastuna, Eskastuna Kirinan. That was super awesome. I'm totally Eskastuna famous now. Then the next thing I did was I went to the graveyard uh, with my host's parents. Um, it's apparently a tradition here to go on the 31st, the evening of the 31st of October, and not the 1st of November, which we did in Belgium because that's all saints say. Um, and it was, since it was in the evening, it was dark. But the Swedes do this thing, that they light candles at the graves of the people that they knew. It was uh, very wonderful to see. It was a little emotional, it was a little sad. Uh, everyone was sort of in their grieving stage uh, when, they go, when they went there. Uh, but it was, it was amazing to see, it was very beautiful. I tried taking some pictures, I lit a candle myself. Um, yeah, this is the candle, by the way, yeah. And that was that was really nice to see. And then later that night, it was, of course, Halloween, so I was invited to a Halloween party. I was thinking a long time, what should I be? 
And the thing is, in Belgium, you have to be scary for Halloween because we have Carnaval, which is basically you can dress up as anything and Halloween is only scary things. But here they don't have Carnaval, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna be something funny. And then I was like, okay, I have to be a Swede. So what I did, I was, I got a t-shirt, um, I wrote, I am a politically correct feminist on it, which is what almost every tweet is. I had yellow hairspray, which I made, which I sprayed on my hair to make myself seem blonde. And I had a Swedish flag. And if you haven't seen that on my Facebook, it looked like this. That was super fun, I loved that party. So, yay! Um... So yeah, that was basically October. Um, there wasn't a lot to do, as I said. Um, but I mean, I learned some Swedish. I learned more Swedish. I got more used to the Swedish culture, to the Swedish people. Um, I got better relationships with people. And I mean, I'm just living the Swedish life, basically. So that's cool. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Hey, Dawn!